And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the free envelope deformation. So there is a nice tool that we can use to achieve some of the effects that I've already talked about in the last two videos. And in many cases this tool makes it a little bit easier, but in some cases the methods I've used before are better. Let me create a text and I press Ctrl D and I copy that to show you three examples. Select the text, go to path, object to path, and then go to object path effects. Click on the plus sign, and here we've got the perspective envelope deformation effect. Don't just use your cursor tool, use the notes tool when you've got it applied, and you can see you can now drag this in perspective. And there are a couple of options that we can use. If you want to move it around, you always have to switch to the cursor. So let me put it to the center. So we've got these boxes. For example, we can mirror it horizontally. Let me put that right here. And we can also mirror it vertically. So if we do that, you can see it kind of snaps in perspective in one, one axis. So a vertical mirror would look like this. And you can also use a freeform transformation here to rotate it kind of. The type, the envelope deformation and the perspective changes how the text is stretched. So you can clearly see that when you look at the end letter, if I switch between that, so just Rely on your eye, test both and see what it does. And you can also flip the text around its own baseline. Something like this. You can create a shape prior to doing all of that. I'll show you that in a second example. Let me turn this text into a path as well on the object. Then I create a rectangle. I need to turn it into a path as well. So path, object to path. Then I use the notes tool. And I create the shape that I've used in the last tutorial on Inkscape in my playlist. Now the text should be used. I'll add the perspective and envelope effect, use the notes tool, and now I'll drag the notes onto the nodes of the rectangle shape, or of the shape that I've just created out of the rectangle. And you can see that I've got snapping enabled. So that helps me to position it exactly on top of the nodes. And then I can get rid of the rectangle, just delete it. And we've got this effect easily done. And you can also create this text around the corner effect. So let me use this shape once more. I'm going to copy that, press and control D, and then I want to flip it. It snaps to the first shape. Now I look at the text that I've got. And we've got four letters on the left and the right hand side. If you want to know more about text on the corner effects, I've made a specific video about that. I refer to this. This is just to show you the effect with this free envelope deformation tool. So you can see I've got the text turned into a path, then ungrouped, and then I group the left hand side and the right hand side. And now I apply once again this perspective envelope effect to both sides with the Path Effects tool. And then I drag the nodes in position.
there's a minor adjustment that you need to do when you use that effect. Let me delete the rect angles both. You can see that the right hand side needs to be resized. Just use the cursor tool. As long as the snapping is enabled, that should be easy. And this is how you can recreate this effect using the free envelope deformation tool. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.